Well, let's see how we can make this beautiful. That's what the Eastside Community Network is asking tonight after the nonprofit was targeted by an armed man who rammed his truck into their building. As Mara McDonald shows us, they're looking for architects. Looking for architects because this little gem of a nonprofit is refusing to let what was an awful day tarnish them. Let me show you. If you know anything about us, we're going to try to make it beautiful. The entrance to the Eastside Community Network is boarded up after an awful weekend. I believe that somehow we were protected by forces that we didn't understand. Surveillance video shows a pickup truck enter the rear of the property. Then it drives around and sits, moving again to get closer, ultimately driving up onto the sidewalk, then backing up until the driver rears back, hits the gas and plows into the building. The vestibule Donna Davidson wasn't too keen on in the first place is what saved the day. It prevented the truck from going further into the building and wedged the driver, Benjamin Weinstein, in his truck. He was armed with two guns. You can see him try and take off after staff helps free him from the truck. They got him on the ground and waited for police to arrive. But now this little mid-century modern gem, which does so much good, whether it's health care clinics, dance classes, youth programs, or a hub for neighborhood improvement programs, is battered and bruised. What we want to do is make sure that we can make lemonade out of these lemons and do something beautiful in the front that we did not even imagine needing to do um, to reinvest in our communities. So Davidson is brainstorming. Does she approach the local universities and make it a competition between architecture schools? Uh, you know, who can come up with the best scheme? Or are there Detroit creatives who would be willing to step forth and help? you want more information, all you have to do is head on over to clickondetroit.com. I'm Mara McDonald. We're downtown.